A blockbuster news out of Twitter. Jack Dorsey announcing he is stepping down as CEO. He'll be replaced by Twitter's chief technology officer. Twitter shares dropping two and three quarters percent today. This after a big pop initially on the news. It's got one of our traders thinking about selling out of his position in the stock. Joining us now on the fast line is the one and only Dan Nathan. Dan, why are you souring on Twitter? All right, Mel. Well, we've done this a couple times now over the course of 2021. Jack Dorsey at their analyst meeting in Q1, I think it was February, got everybody all geeked up, as Guy Dami likes to say, about product development and the velocity of it. And we saw them move into a lot of new things. We saw fleets. We saw super files. We saw Twitter blue. None of this is really moving the needle. So now that Jack is gone here um, and the CTO, I think it's just a really disappointing choice. If, if technology and innovation at the company has been the big problem in insider, okay, who is the CTO, is really not going to be the fix for a company that's really struggling to grow off of their, like, 200 million user base. So, to me, I'm pretty disappointed. I've tried two trades this year prior to this latest one, which I have talked about on Fast Money over the last few weeks here. And this is just not the piece of news that I think is going to get um, the stock going here. And one last thing, okay? This company went public in 2013 at 26 bucks. It's up about 75% or so. The NASDAQ is up 235% since then. The S&P 500 is up 135%. And you know what's up since then? A lot more than all of that combined is Square, the company that Jack was the CEO of. It's up 1,800% or so. So to me, this one's really got to shake out. It's got lower lows. And I still believe this company is a uh, feature on a larger platform. It's not mm -hmm. going to be going at it alone. And maybe the CTO is a good choice to sell this company, not the founder still there who took them public years ago. So what's the verdict, Dan, in terms of selling out of your position? Well, I mean, basically, Mel, I was in it through calls and call spreads here, and it's basically worthless at this point. And I was thinking about adding a long position before this sort of news, an outsider, maybe somebody with more of a media background to get an engaged audience and grow this audience base better with maybe a more of an e-commerce focus, because I think social commerce is going to be a huge, huge um, play for them eventually if they get there. But this is just disappointing news to me right now. All right, Dan, thanks for phoning in. I appreciate it. Dan Nathan.